Hello friends, welcome to DevOps tutorial and in this video lecture we will learn docker. So in this session we are going to learn why we need docker and what is docker, the core component of docker and its terminology and difference between virtualization and containerization and finally we will learn how to install docker on Ubuntu machine. So to understand docker, so first we need to understand the common uh, problem of shipping industry. The problem is how to transport different types of goods having different size, shape and weight. For example, if you are a manufacturer of uh, fragile items or furniture item, so if you want to transport that item from one place to another place, so it is very difficult because in at the time of travel, it may be chances to break. So to solve this problem, container come into the picture. So container are the standard boxes where you can put your goods in a proper way so it can easy to transport so let's understand the another problem from the development side an application working on the developer laptop but it is not working on the testing server so we can see here the two picture the developer is saying that the code is working on my side but the deployment guy is saying that there is some problem in the code so the reason is developer upgrade the version in his machine but server is still using the old version so like, uh, let's uh, come to the real-time example so suppose you are developing an application and running that application in, into the Windows server but when the development uh, de uh, deployment guys is deploy that application into the Linux server so the problem is that the configuration of the Windows server and Linux server both are the different so that time the application will not work so to solve this problem docker come into the picture so docker the main purpose of docker is for the developer to develop the application and the ship application into the containers and the containers will deploy that application into the anywhere so the containers are packed with the code dependency configuration and network setting depends upon the application so docker is a tool designed to make it easier to deploy and run the application with the help of container so docker makes the process of application deployment very easy and efficient to resolve lots of issues related to the deployment application. So let's come to the advantage of Docker. So Docker support multiple applications with different application requirement and dependency to be hosted together on same host as long as they have same operating system. Next is optimization. A large number of application can be hosted on the same host as a container are usually a few megabytes in a size and consume very little disk space. So when we are deploying application into the host with the help of containers, so containers are uh, very small in size. So it's take very small size in the operating system. So uh, we can deploy the multiple application into the host. Robustness. A container does not have operating system to install it. Thus, the consume a very little memory comparison to virtual machines. So let's understand this point. So when you are installing the virtual machines, it take around a uh, minimum requirement of virtual machine is 2 GB or 1 GB. But when you are installing the containers, when you are deploying the containers, take around 200 MB. So we can see the difference here. So in next, uh, when we come to the virtualization and uh, containerization difference, so we can see the difference of this point reduce the cost so docker is a less demanding when it comes to the hardware requirement let's understand the core component of a docker so docker engine is one of the core component of a docker and it is responsible for overall functioning of a docker platform docker engine is a client server based application and consists of three components server rest api and client so we can see in this architecture the server is a layer and above uh, server we have the REST API and above we have the client. The server runs a daemons known as docker daemons which is nothing but a process. It is responsible for creating managing docker images, containers and networks and volume of the docker platform. REST API specify how the application can interact with the server and instruct to get their job done. Client nothing, be, nothing but a command line interface that allow to user to interact with docker using commands. Let's understand the docker terminology. So docker image and docker containers are two different things. Docker image is an immutable file which, can, uh, which is a snapshot of container. 
we can create an image using build command. Docker image contains everything needed to run application as a container. This includes code, runtime, libraries, environment variables, configuration files, network files, and everything. So a runnable instance of an image is a container. By using Docker API or CLI, we can create a stop, move, delete a containers. From one image, we can create a multiple container. So let's understand the Docker terminology. So Docker image and Docker containers are two different things. Docker image is an immutable file that we cannot able to change, which is a snapshot of a container and we can create an image using build command. A Docker image containing everything needed to run application as a container. This includes code, runtime application, uh, runtime libraries, environment variable and configuration files. So this is called Docker image. A runnable instance of Docker is Docker container. By using Docker API or Docker CLI, we can create stop and move the uh, move or delete the containers from one image we can create a multiple containers so now next is docker hub and docker additions so docker hub is a officially online repository where you can find the all the docker images that are available to use docker hub also allow to distribute our custom images into the docker hub so docker is available into two different edition one is community edition and enterprise edition so the community edition is suitable for individually developers and as small teams it offer a limited functionality it in comparison to the enterprise edition the enterprise edition in other hand it is suitable for the large number of teams and using a production environment So how docker is different from virtual machine so let's understand what is virtualization so virtualization is a technique of importing guest operating system on top of host operating system this technique was popular because of it's allowed to developer to run a multiple operating system in different virtual machines all running on the same host this eliminate the need of extra hardware and while we're talking about uh, containerization containerization is a technique of bringing virtu uh, virtualization to the operating system level while virtualization is bringing abstraction to the hardware and containerization bring the abstraction to the operating system this means that containerization is not required any guest operating system to install on host operating system these containers will use the uh, resources from the host operating system because of that it is very fast and efficient at the at we compare in this so we have the two use case one is virtual machine install on the host operating system another is docker so the use case is we have three virtual machine that is have three different application and the same in docker so we can see here when we are installing the virtual machine it's recorded some amount of memory for to execute the virtual machine so we can see here the total memory used by application is 9 GB and total memory is wasted is 7 GB because virtual memory is also using some amount of memory that is not usable. So in case of docker we can see here the three application that is SAM is using the memory is 9 GB and there is no wastage of memory. So we can see here the difference is, is virtualization is taking uh, more amount of memory and that is not usable and in case of docker there is no memory wastage so there's one more example of uh, difference between virtualization and docker is at the time of booting or loading we can say that one so virtualization take the time it's maybe required a couple of time to start the virtual machine but in case of docker it's very frequently and very fast so in a uh, next point we are checking how to install a docker on ubuntu server so i am logging in my ubuntu server so let's learn how to install docker so first we have to go to the docker's uh, docs.docker.com so where we can get the all the instruction how to download the docker and uh, here the installation method so our first command is sudo apt get update after that one we have to follow this command yes
so next command is we have to add the key so key is added and uh, we have to uh, we don't need to follow these steps just go here and execute this command okay so now the final stage is sudo apt update and we have to download the docker so this command will download the latest version of docker if you want to download the specific version of docker so we will follow this command okay so we are downloading the latest version of docker yes So docker is installed now let's check the docker version docker minus version 